Instagram, my, oh, 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 did I just, I just cut myself, bitch. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Well, it's not really morning. It is basically 1 p.m. now. I just finished my night shifts today, so I did a week of nights and I finished at 7 a.m. I woke up around 12 because I have a few things to do today. I'm gonna film a get ready with me video um, and just kind of talk to you guys. I have a little bit of an allergic reaction on my face. My eyes are puffy and that could be because um, I, I, I'm night shift and I didn't really sleep that much. I guess I usually um, put my hair out of my face. Um, also, this video is sponsored. Thank you so much to Lith Lashes for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you more about it after, but for now, let's just get the basis of, of everything going. I have a damp wet techniques um, sponge here. Sometimes I'll just use my fingers, which is totally fine too. Oh, and I'm using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is in the color Medium Sand. And I like this one for my under eyes. That looks as good as we're gonna get today, which is fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my under eyes. I really like to use the Laura Mercier, what is this called? Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes, under my eyes. I will dip my brush into the powder like so, just like to get a really tiny little bit. And then I'll take it in the lid and just kind of swirl it around to get even distribution. Um, and then I'll pat it under my under eyes. I like to make sure that I look up so that I don't end up setting any creases and I do like to lightly buff in any of the lines and then on top of my eye, I don't use an eye primer because I find that with the mix of the concealer and the setting powder, it usually works out for me and I never have a problem, so. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and set my face cause it is like, I'm naturally just dewy, but like really though, I'm just greasy and I get really oily in my T-zones and this is looking a little off with it being like so white against my um, face. So I'm gonna take the Morphe Filter Effect Finishing Powder. This is in filter five. So I just like to take a uh, big powder brush. This is 106 from Zoeva. And I start applying um, just by pressing it a little bit into my most problem oily area just to concentrate the powder there. I don't know where I left off. My camera stopped recording. But basically, I just went in with the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. This is in the color Sunkissed Bronzer. And um, I'm taking a pointed blush brush. I did a good swirl on the bronzer and I just applied it really lightly to the cheeks because I know that for bronzer, you wanna put it on the places, the surfaces, I don't know, the places on your face that you actually would get sunkissed by naturally tanning. Contouring and bronzing are two different things. Bronzing is meant more for putting warmth into your face. At least that's what the YouTubers told me. The beauty gurus, okay. Um, I don't usually contour on a daily basis, but I guess we can do it today. I am using the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. I usually like to go in with the colors subconscious and shadow play which are these ones right here but i'll mix them together and at this point you should have quite a bit on your brush I like to tap off the excess i don't know if you can even see that um and whatever is left i'll kind of like do the fishy face you know you could just watch so i like to put a little bit here don't overdo it over a little bit here Um, a little bit around the hairline and in the chin area just buff that out at this point we've got a shit ton of powder on our face but it's okay 
um because we're gonna fix it after and my face naturally anyways produces quite a bit of oil so i know how much powder works for my face so this one is not really a blush it's actually a blo a blo a blonde a bronzer it's a bronzer but it's a blush so i guess it is a bronzer i use it as a blush this is from becca this is the sunlit bronzer in the color maui nights i don't know why this is considered a bronzer because it does have a pink hue to it I'm just gonna take a little bit of pigment, although that probably looked like a lot to you guys. And then I will dust off the excess. A little bit more for good measure. Smile and apply them to the apples of your cheeks. Just very, very lightly. Like use a very light hand with this. Obviously this is not where we're gonna leave it. I'm gonna take that powder brush again, the no name one and buff it out. I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade, the tip brow pomade, just like every everybody else. I like to use an angled wing liner brush and I'll just, I usually start at the bottom of my brow and draw the outline from there. And I'll fill in a little bit. I just like to use a light hand with this because I'm not trying to look like I got Sharpie on my damn face. Typically just go with the natural shape of my eyebrows. I don't really like to overdraw them too much. And then uh, gradually as I come closer to the start of the brow, I'll use a lighter and lighter hand. Um, and I'm just using the residual product on the brush to make that shadow effect. I don't ever like to put too much pressure up here. I like to take a Q-tip and kind of fix up any of the edges. We'll just go in with the thicker concealer and just use like just a little bit of this cause this one goes a long way. And I just like to carve out, usually just underneath, make it look a little cleaner up here too. So I did the other eyebrow. Hopefully they look similar <laughs> at least. So I'm gonna use the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I usually like to start off with Bloom as almost like a transition shade which is sometimes unconventional for people because they like to use something that is closer to their skin tone i personally like the pop of color so that's what i do so i'll use bloom i'll buff it out a little bit and um i will go into birch um and i'll put that all over the eye and i'll go in with a darker brown and i'll use that in my crease to make it look well, like the outer crease right here. I find that it looks the best on my eye shape. I'm just gonna go in with Rose Quartz from the same palette, the Sultry palette. I'm gonna do uh, this with my finger. Shimmery shadows just work a lot better on when they're applied with your finger. So I'm just gonna swipe that on the lid with my ring finger. I realize that looks a little bit horrific, but it's fine. We're gonna go back in with that same pointed blending crease brush that I used for the outer edge, and I'm gonna go back into it just with whatever uh, product is left on it. I'm not gonna re dip it into the eyeshadow. That is it for the eyeshadow. Now is when I go in with eyeliner. Let's skip the wing today. Let's just do a normal brown. So this is the Morphe color pencil in the color trendsetter it's just like a deep brown and i'm gonna line my eyes so after that is done i'm gonna take a dark brown eyeshadow i'm gonna use it from the soft glam i like this cypress umber color and i'm gonna use a smudger this is a 226 from zoeva and i'm just gonna take it and smudge in that eyeliner now I do this because like it intensifies the color, but also um, that pencil from Morphe is really um, soft and I find that it will smudge. So I like to use this to set it. I'm gonna use my Shiseido eyelash curler and uh, curl my lashes up. So now that that part is done, I'm gonna apply just the tiniest, thinnest layer on my lashes, this is a CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lash Mascara. This is not waterproof, which I like because um, it's not hard on my lashes to take off. So I find that if you just put a little bit of mascara on your lashes, it does help um, 
when you're putting on your falsies. Now it's my favorite part of the damn routine. I love putting on eyelashes. This video is sponsored by Lith, actually. Um, so they sent me a few lashes initially a few months ago. These are them right now. Literally the first day I put them on, I was just blown away by the quality of them and how when I put them on, I didn't even realize I was wearing anything, which to me is unheard of. After that, I was constantly, constantly, constantly wearing those lashes. Any single time I was wearing lashes, it was always lift lashes until they reached out to me again and was like, hey, like I, we noticed that you're wearing our lashes a lot. Do you want to do a collab? And I was like, literally, yes. <laughs> This definitely is a sponsored video, but I was gonna talk about them regardless. I definitely don't wear lashes every single day, but any single time I do, they're always lit. And I have a plethora, is that how you say it? Plethora, plethora? I have a plethora of lashes um, from the drugstore, mostly the Ardell Wispies and a few Kiss lashes, but I have not looked at those since I started wearing these ones. Let me just decide which pair I'm gonna use right now. This is the 05. And fun fact, all of their packaging is recyclable which I really appreciate. They're, they're cruelty free. These are 03. I think I actually already have a pair of these ones. And this is 01. So I think I'm either gonna go with 01 today or 05. What do you guys think? I think I'll do 01. So what I really like about this, like these lashes is that they really are meant for everyday use. Like, I believe me when I tell you, I legitimately don't feel these lashes on me. Like I just do not oh maybe it's the band like i think the band is made of a durable soft cotton once you go to a good lash y'all never just want to go back like you just don't i like this glue but it's not my favorite it's not the best but it's doable and make sure you put extra on the ends because at least for me i think it's a problem with the glue any lash that i use will tend to lift up if i don't apply them to the corners i like to start off with a corner the corner, the left corner of every eye. So if I'm putting it on this one, I'll start on this corner. If I'm putting it on this one, I like to start like right at the inner eye. So I don't know why, it's just, that's just me. Just put it as close to the lash line as possible. Another thing that I really like about these trays even, when you put the lash back into the tray, the way that it's designed is meant to keep the curl in the lash, which I really appreciate. Like with the drugstore lashes that I use, I need to actually manually take a, a curler and and curl the lash before I put it on but I noticed with the lip lashes I don't ever have to do that which I actually really like because I feel like sometimes it can damage the actual lash so that is it for this now the only thing that's missing is just the lips also if you guys are interested in lip definitely go out and try them if you don't like them then you are missing out. Diane 15 will get you 15% off of the lashes which is a good damn deal these ones are meant for like everyday wear and they definitely look like it so uh, i'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm on this is the o'keefe's lip repair i've gone through several tubes of these this is the mac satin it's a satin lipstick right in the color mocha i have gone through so many tubes of this this is my third tube these are two empty ones of mocha and i've got a backup in i just purchased a backup so you can see this one is really well loved. I'm gonna be going to that back up pretty damn soon. Sometimes I'll go in with a cotton pad and just, and I have a little, just like a baby sample size of the lips lip maximizer. And I like to put it just in the center. And after this part, I like to put on, I like I usually do this to protect my hair. I'll go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is the best setting mist I have ever tried. I've been through Urban Decay. Best. I've just been through a lot. Okay. And this one is the best in terms of like the spray too. So. Mmm. Yes, bitch. And fan my face. Dry that ish. Nothing. Last step is I'm going to take my Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette. This is from forever ago and I'm going to use, I believe this is Champagne Pop here. Um, I'm just going to use a fan brush and because I do have texture on my face. I got a face rash, okay? I got allergies going up. I don't want to um, accentuate the texture too much on my face, so I'm just going to put a little bit 
although I feel like that might already do it. And I'm just going to put a few little highlight details here. And I always like to highlight after I put my setting spray on. That's just, that's just how I like to do it. I find that it makes it pop a little bit more. I'm gonna do my uh, under, under, what the hell do you call this, brow bone? <laughs> my under brow. And I'm gonna do my nose bridge. And that is my makeup tutorial, you guys. Don't forget if you guys are interested in lip lashes, um, I do have a code Diane15. Go and check them out. I swear you guys won't be disappointed. They're literally my favorite thing ever. Also, if you guys are on Instagram, my IG handle is at that linguistic. Come over, say hi. Um, let me know who you are. I love to put faces to names. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Natural disasters. My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen, angels be called